Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you in place upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So um, this is going to be a free if you are running a Windows 7 operating system still on your laptop or desktop you can go ahead and upgrade it to Windows 10 uh, in the same edition uh, um, by you don't need to pay anything Microsoft has released tool which is called media creation tool you can go to Google and type type just media creation tool and you can go ahead and download it for free and then you can use that tool to upgrade your existing Windows 7 to Windows 10 so before upgrade your operating system from Windows 7 to Windows 10 I always recommend to make sure you have a current backup of your current operating system like you have your downloads my document all the folders if you having any other drive uh, uh, like a D drive or E drive you need, you need to make sure you have those backup also so just just to make sure if in case anything goes wrong with between the upgrades or you did any mistake like uh, you wipe the disk uh, you are not going to lose your data so backup your machine first and then go ahead and try this so when I say free it's going to be completely free and you can use media creation tool to upgrade it so before you jump into upgrade you have to make sure which operating system you are currently running so which operating system means which operate uh, which Windows 7 edition you are running so to check this you can go to your uh, Windows 7 machine and click on uh, right click on computer and click on properties so you can see here I am running Windows 7 Enterprise Service Pack 1 which is 64 bit so these two things you have to make sure which type of uh, which type of uh, like operating system you are running 32 boot or 64 bit and one more thing which edition you are running so uh, and how one uh, thing to make sure you are running service pack one if you're not running service pack you can go ahead uh, on Microsoft to download service pack one for the Windows 7 but most of the machine are, are running uh, uh, at least service pack one so this is good so we have verified this so to uh, to check this if uh, what type of operating system in Windows 10 you can upgrade so this is uh, one of the upgrade supported path which is published on Microsoft website I'm going to publish this link in my description also so you can go and verify which operating system support like which Windows 7 does support which type of enterprise upgrade or operating system upgrade so like here you can see Windows 7 enterprise only support Windows 10 enterprise upgrade so if I was running like um, I was running enterprise and I I want to upgrade it to Windows uh, Windows 10 Pro it, it's not going to support right so this is something which we have to make sure what we are running and what is going to support so I am running Windows uh, Windows 7 enterprise and this is going to be a support Windows 10 enterprise only so this is one thing So if you are running like Windows 8 or uh, any edition like Enterprise Windows 8.1 Enterprise Edition you can still go to upgrade it to Windows 10 Enterprise and here for the Windows 10 also if you are running like a uh, home edition you can upgrade it to a Windows Enterprise 10. So, so what I'm going to use I'm going to use here so I got my Windows 7 Enterprise Edition here and I need to do in place upgrade in Windows 10 so uh, one of the main questions like what is in place upgrade so in place upgrade basically you are going to upgrade your existing machine to a new operating system like you have a laptop or desktop which I uh, um, uh, told you before so you are not going to basically wipe the data wipe the clean the disk clean the hard drive which is running with the your laptop or desktop with operating system basically you are going to upgrade the existing operating system to latest one so Windows 10 to Windows 10 upgrade by using ISO file media creation tool so media creation tool uh, provides uh, a different uh, different methods to upgrade the operating system so in this video what we are going to do we are going to use ISO file 
to upgrade these operating system so why ISO file because Windows 7 Enterprise Edition does not support media creation direct in place upgrade so let's see how it's going to do so I'm on my Windows 7 Enterprise Edition machine I'm going to open my Chrome and you just need to type Microsoft media creation tool and you will get the link to download it else what you can type you can simply type Windows 10 upgrade assistant this is what you are going to get so this is the path where you can see Windows 10 upgrade assistant so just open it and you will see on this link you have download the update assistant so I'm going to click on this link so it's going to take you to the uh, latest version of um, media creation tool. so uh, uh, today I'm uh, it's uh, like 29 March 2020 so I'm going to get the latest version of Windows 10 enterprise uh, like in our media creation which is going to download so current the latest version is on Windows 10 1909 so it's going to download 199 so uh, you can see using uh, using this tool you can upgrade uh, this PC to Windows 10 and you can create a installation media so also so I am going to uh, try this uh, second method this time and next time we are going to do in next video I'm going to do in place upgrade so let's try click on download now so it's a lightweight tool you can see it's uh, I think approx 5 MB tool so if I go to my uh, tools okay it's it's 18 MB tool so it's still it's lightweight so you can see it's getting few things ready so before you jump into the installation you have to make sure you have enough space in C drive and my current C drive is 100 gig and I have 40 gig 43 gig so you have to make sure you have at least 30 gig free space available so this is Mm, license agreement and all so you can read if you wish I'm going to hit accept here so now it's going to check few more things in this machine so two option which we got in website also upgrade this machine or create installation media so if I'm going to try this uh, uh, for the enterprise edition it's going to be a fail because you will see it's going to give you like uh, uh, the language or edition which you have currently running windows install this PC does not support this tool so that's fair I'm going to run this tool again and we're going to create installation media so just to make sure if you if you got this error it means you are running the operating system in windows 10 enterprise edition so you know uh, you just go and download the ISO file which I'm going to do this time so accept and it's going to take few more seconds here so this time create installation media so click next and what I'm going to do here so I'm running 64 gig so you can go ahead and download 64 bit and if you wish you can download both uh, 32 and 64 bit if you have multiple machines like running 32 bit or 64 bit both operating system so you can select from here and you can download both and just copy these ISO file to the different machines and then go ahead and run the setup so I'm going to run here 64 bit and the edition Windows 10 so this is good click next so what you are going to make like if you wish to create a USB drive you can go ahead I'm going to download ISO file and burn it to DVD or also you can burn like f from the ISO file also you can create the USB later on so I'm going to download the ISO file so click next and we want to save so I'm going to save in downloads so I'm going to call it Windows 10 as 64 just make sure this is 64 bit OS file only so click on save and now it's going to download file so it's depend on the your internet speed how much time it's going to take generally it's uh, on my network it's going to take five minutes so I'm going to pause the recording here and once the download is completed I'm going to resume video from there again so now you can see the file has been downloaded and saved here so I'm going to click on close and 
now if I go to my download folders you can see here Windows 10 uh, x64 had been uh, like um, downloaded so what I'm going to do I'm going to extract this by using win7 uh, uh, 7 zip uh, software so if you don't have you can go ahead and download it it's free so I'm going to make it here so now you can see the extract has been completed this is warning message we can ignore it so go ahead and close this and now this is the set of file which we need to run to do the in-place upgrade so this is the same way just like um, uh, the direct media creation tool does not support it so you need to download the ISO and then you can run the setup. So next video I'm going to show you how to directly use the like media creation tool to upgrade the operating system so you can see install Windows 10 and here choose how to um, download the setup and updates so I'm going to not now select so it's not going to do the Windows update right now so if you wish you can go ahead and select this option so I always recommend to download the updates driver and optional feature recommended which is recommended by Microsoft also so since this is a demo I'm, I'm good to skip this so not now and I'm not going to select this also so click next now now it's cooking, going to check some prerequisites like how many space you have or what is your machine configuration like you have a uh, supported uh, CPU and RAM uh, configuration for the hardware configuration for your machine and this is going to ask you the credential uh, like the um, product key if you have you can just type it and if you don't have Microsoft also does provide the demo key for the Windows 10 upgrade you can go ahead and download from the Microsoft side I'm going to publish that link also in my uh, uh, description below the video so so after putting the click when you click next you are going to give uh, get this screen so accept the application notification and this is going to check making sure you are ready to install so this is going to take few seconds a few minutes depending on the um, hardware configuration of your machine so ideally it should take 20 to 30 seconds only so this is going to tell you install Windows 7 Enterprise and this is keep your personal file application so it means it's going to keep your all the personal files which you have and downloads and uh, my document uh, other places and also it's going to keep the your application which is installed here so this is good so click on install so now this installation will take uh, like five or uh, 10 to 15 minutes to get the installation done and once this installation is done I'm going to resume from there and we'll see uh, how the windows upgrade is uh, like after you know, doing the windows 10 upgrade what needs to be done uh, like post verification and anything else so I'm going to pause the recording for now so during the upgrade your machine uh, going to reboot several time automatically so you need to make sure you have a good power connectivity so during the windows upgrade it's power is not going to cut down otherwise it's going to OS is going to corrupt and you are not be able to log in so if you're doing on laptop you just need to make sure your battery is fully charged and if you are uh, doing on desktop you just need to make sure you have a proper UPS which can supply uh, at least uh, 15 to 20 minutes power backup in case of any electricity um, uh, electricity down so just need to make sure these things uh, when you are running upgrade so now you can see working on up updates 1% 2% so it's going to take few more reboots after uh, this uh, installing the f updates so I'm going to pause the again video so, so upgrade has completed and now this is final time the machine is rebooting and now you can see uh, the operating system has been upgraded to Windows 10 and you can see here Windows 10 Enterprise so this is good so I can go ahead and close this and one more thing you have to make sure you got this folder called it uh, windows.old so basically that folder having your old operating system data which is Windows 7 so in case you don't like Windows 10 or you having any application compatibility issue or XYZ any issue you want back uh, you want to back go to Windows 7 then you must need this windows.old file 
uh, folder basically which having your old operating system and to go there you can go to settings and then you can go to Windows 10 uh, uh, update and security and then go to recovery and you will see this option go back to Windows 7 so this is in uh, for now this option is available for 10 days only from the upgrade before it was uh, like available for 30 days so you need to make sure if you having any issue you just test it out Windows 10 new operating system with your all your features and application which you have installed and in case anything goes wrong you can go to back Windows 7 and if everything goes well then welcome to Windows 10 so this is all about in the next video I'm going to show you the how you can revert this machine to Windows 7 so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye